How's it going guys? So in this video we're going to be talking about one of the features that we brought in to TrueTrain 4.3 and that feature is the pack it up button. This feature is uh, actually a customer request that we've had for our ongoing time to be honest. We uh, regularly get the, the, the message that um, some of the scenes are quite heavy to render and is there an easy way to get this onto like a, a render farm or onto a different machine where they can render it or something like that. So this time around version 4.3 we've uh, introduced this new button which will prepare your whole scene uh, get it all ready and pack it all up for uh, off, off site rendering so any computer that you're, you're not currently got the files on whether that's a render farm or someone else's computer or friends or something like that the um, this button will do that for you so essentially the way it works is uh, you would save your file as you normally would uh, so I've already got a directory that I've saved this in and then we click this little button here, pack it up. What it'll do is it'll clean up the whole scene for you. We can name the export file to uh, Super Final Export. Totally serious about this. And then the directory that your file is already saved in, uh, this will be where we zip and send this file to. So if we click OK, just give it a second for it to do its thing. It'll pop up a little window and it'll give you the it'll select that file for you straight away. So that's the function that we built in. Um, you can just then drag and drop that zip file onto onto I think I believe most render farms uh, support zip file upload. Um, that being said, we have actually done a partnership with a render farm. So if we go to our user preferences and head to our add-on section and true terrain we can see here there's a little button that says claim free render credits once you click this button or if you click this button it will take you to a page um, called or on a website called blender grid which is a render farm which is specifically set up to do blender renders well, from there you can put your first name into that tag there, the little bar and then your email into the bar underneath and uh, click the little blue button that says send me the $20 credit credit gift you'll get an email that'll ask you to confirm your account once you confirm your account you'll be able to access the your profile uh, where is my profile if we go to the home page here we can see that we've got a, a home page where you can drag and drop your files on so let's drag and drop our file on that we've just done and once it's been dragged on It'll start to upload. You can click the upload button. This shouldn't take too long for myself. Uh, once it's uploaded, though, it'll take you to an option that says click on these settings. And the settings page for that blend file will appear here. From here, you can choose whether you want it to be a full animation or if it's one frame. You can choose the frame amount. Uh, so start frame and end frame. The step of that frame counts. So whether you want it to do every single frame or if you want it to do every other frame. Um, you can change the resolution of the output, so we've got ours at 1500 by 1500 and you can change the resolution of the uh, of this as well, so if you wanted to do it by 200% or 50% or whatever it is. Then the file name, this is the file name of the outputted images uh, or outputted file type, so if you were doing it like a video or something like that, you can output that too, but if you were doing it frame by frame, which I usually highly recommend doing animations frame by frame, just because if for any reason the rendering fails, um, you've still got half or 30% or 90% of the actual output. When you've done it with a video, it'll fail the video. Uh, the render engine type, so Cycles, I believe these guys support LuxCore, yeah, LuxCore 2. Um, sample count, so this one's only at 48 samples at the minute. And then the same camera. Um, I do apologise for a voice in this video, I've not been too well lately, so I apologise if it keeps breaking up. Um, and then the version of Blender that you're running, so you can choose Blender 3.1, 2.79, whatever one um, you want to. Obviously, make sure the one that you're choosing is supported by the scene that you've got set up. Um, and then you can enable a couple of like sort of post effect things. So motion blur that's rendered in the camera, border render and leave that on, leave compositing on because if you've got a composite and scene set up, then uh, it'll use all those those nodes to add like glare and thing like that if you've got them set up. 
and then sequence it, just you leave them ones on. Stamp output, the that is actually sort of like a watermark that it'll stamp on the image, um, so you don't need to do that one. And then once you've done that, you can click calculate price, at which point you will be given uh, this sort of screen here. Um, you can choose the deadline, so how quickly you want it. Uh, the faster you want it, the more it's going to cost, and then the less time you need, the less it's going to cost. Um, and this will actually vary too, depending on sort of how big your scene is. So I think it goes up to like fifteen hours or something like that. You can you can wait around for it for. You can then again change the resolution percentage in the sort of end game of this this setup, uh, and then the sample count. So if we were rendered on it the fifteen hundred by fifteen hundred, uh, and say I wanted to just stick it on like Twitter or something like that, I could render it all the way down to like seven hundred pixels or something, so fifty percent, uh, and then that would cost me like four dollars uh, and then if we go to sample count um, again if we have that we can go to like three dollars if we double that um, it's going to go up to ten dollars because it's double the workload obviously uh, so we just set that at like what did I have on 48 was it 48 um, yeah whatever it was uh, and I said the deadline's like two hours so we're talking five dollars to get this rendered out um, which, to be fair, I mean, I, it is a reasonable amount of money, uh, especially if you can get something done in two hours and it's going to take you 10 hours or 20 hours or 50 hours to render on your own machine. Um, so that's a little partnership that we've got going with them and the benefit for you guys is that you get $20 of free render credits to try them out and see if you like them. Uh, I, you know, I do, I, I will say that they're a very good service. Uh, we've used them in the past for a lot of our renders, uh, especially the True Terrain 4 promo stuff that we worked on, I think they rendered like half of that video um, and they did it really quick for us So and, and it was really cost effective too because it would have taken weeks to render some of that stuff um, but yeah, check these guys out, they're awesome uh, and then obviously check out the uh, function yourselves on the add-on um, just pack it up and send it to a friend or something like that I, I don't know, or send it to a render farm or put it on Blender Grid and get you $20 worth of rendering. Um, so that's it for this video, guys. In the next one, we're going to touch on some of the... Uh, I think we've introduced the scatter function, uh, so we'll touch on that. We'll sort of do a little scene to set all that up, so it'll be a little follow-along video that we're going to run through on that one, guys. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.